Yeah. Say it again. Oh, yeah. Did, did you no, cut your own hair? No, I didn't. Was I supposed to? Are you scared of the camera? I know. I I am. I haven't been on camera in a long time. Really? We're Look, just we're just, we're, we're just making you feel better about this. Okay. The camera's not on. We're just we're not even gonna we're not even going to film you. We just want you to feel included. Okay. So we're gonna tell you that we're gonna publish this video, and we're not. So we're just gonna make fun of you a lot right now and say mean things to you. Okay. I'm not. Just like, just like school. Just like normal. Can what, can we can we really cut your hair? Can I cut your hair? Uh, I would rather not. I shave my nuts every fucking day. I can cut your hair. Okay. Well, that's good enough, I guess. They're like okay, take two. I bang a hairstylist every day. I can cut take your hair. <laughs> we need one of those little boards. One of those, like, uh... Separating board. That's what James said. He said, so you got these camera guys. They'll film the shit out. They'll give you fucking 100 hours of footage. Oh, yeah. You need the dude that goes... To tell them when not to fucking film. Otherwise, you'll have all this footage. You won't. You, yeah. Like, what do you I do with all this? Fucking start to stop. The production guy is what you need. So I see you got some shoes. I did. Got some. I'm glad because those are real ones. So those aren't Snooks or Sperry's yeah. or flip flops. Cameron. Or Cameron showed up. I don't know what he was thinking. I said we're gonna move. Ten thousand pieces of wood that are twenty feet long. And covered in nails. And each one had. Yeah, it's a fucking mace. When you were a kid and you drove these big nails through a baseball bat <coughs> and it was all intertwined and tangled and he showed up in fucking Crocs. <laughs> I think he thought... I think he did it on purpose. Yeah, I was like, I think he thought, there's no way they'll make me move. If I jam this nail through my foot, they won't make me move all Don't this you shit. Don't stick a knife in your leg, Ricky Bobby. Cool. So I said, you better show up with some appropriate shoes. So what's he do? He goes and gets boat shoes. Yeah. He might as well fucking showed up chewing bubblegum. Were they snooks or spirits? Spirits. They're spirits. So I said... You better not come back to work until you are wearing some shoes that the, you think I would yeah, wear. They actually have shoe strings and laces. Something and appropriate. So he did He did pretty well. He said, would you wear these? I said, I wouldn't, but I do, <laughs> I do approve of them. <laughs> <laughs> he did. Okay, I was like, I tried so hard, John. <laughs> no, you did get. You're good. still standing here. Yeah. I'm, I'm not gone yet. <laughs> We're letting you be in the video. Yeah, that's pretty good. Hey, Thomas. That's no, fucking Mongo. You don't call him Thomas. Mongo? Zimongo. What do you want? I'm gonna get some water. You just wanted to be on the camera. Yeah. I need you to fucking pull those little tassels off your, your pants. Nah. No, I think this is... What are they there for? I'm pretty they sure that's gonna happen. Why would you tighten this? I don't. They were just on there. So that, so that when he's in Walmart stealing grapes, he can tie those tight and he can fill his pants like... Like, is that grapes. literally what that's for? Yeah. Or taters. Why? Taters. You look like you eat a lot of taters. I love potatoes. You lost what? Half a human being? I lost 35 total. 35 pounds? Yeah. And you run like 27 miles? You run a, you run a half a marathon twice a week? Shit, <laughs> I haven't ran in like two months. You've ever run a half a marathon. <clears throat> fucking little bastards. <laughs> <laughs> Did you tie those in not? I told you they're coming off. That's there. why he was, he was talking. I was like, go oh, fast, go fast. Are. <laughs> Seriously though, why would you have a drawstring on the cuff of your short? So you can make them into joy because it's fucking because so you look like a chick. Yeah, but you know what I mean. You like, want to be Sinbad the pirate. <laughs> <laughs> I just can't imagine like that's. So when you get out of the water, maybe you can catch fish in them. Yeah, like I, I that's, that that blows my mind a little bit. I don't see a point. In that. I don't know what you can do. With that. I'm just, I'm trying to be that was a good. No, that was a good interjection into the conversation. Yeah. thank you. There's no point in those. You don't need them. You're right. Cut them off. Yeah, go cut them off of them now. Right now? Take the scissors. scissors and just cut all the way up. <laughs> cut up here and down here. <laughs> like whenever you're uh, getting them a trauma victim, you're just like, ch -ch -ch -ch. just yeah. strip those clothes right off. Them. Take them off. We're not going to unbutton these. We're going to saw the shit out of them and give them back to you in a plastic bag in the <laughs> hospital. And they do, too. I know. I'll give you $100. You just walk in there and rip the back pocket off them. Chances are. It'll it would probably come right off, yeah. Chances are I'd rip the shorts. It'd be funny to do Dakota because that way if it didn't rip off, you'd throw Dakota. But Dakota would want to fight. He might, but it, that's not a lot of fight. No, know. I mean you could easily yeah. subdue him. A hundred pounds can only fight so Just much. Like, it'd be like high school when we when you used to throw him in the baseball bat back. <laughs> we had a freshman that we did we we put him in a cardboard box and pushed him down some stairs. <clears throat> we do that to smash him. <laughs> Does he we still fit in the panels? Does he still fit in one of those kit bags? Yeah, Sebastian we had him in one not long ago. We were swinging around. He to panic. I can't breathe! Yeah, he is. <laughs> but like, if someone, us, 
asks you to get in a bag, your correct response is, I can't, or no. Especially after it's been done a hundred times. Yeah. yeah. Not always like, why anxious do you to do it. it. Yeah. I'll hop in there. Yeah. Like, guaranteed, if we if you put us in there and we can get that zipper where you can't get it out, we're going to put you somewhere. Like, look how big this is. You could you could stand in this Craftsman wall locker. <laughs> so I, was, I can't breathe. You can see light coming yeah, through. You yeah, can, you, you can, can breathe. You can breathe. You might be panicked. That's just your anxiety attack. If you can attack. talk, you can breathe. If I can hear you, you can breathe. All right. So Amanda came back from the post office with some mail, and I said, "Did I get? Is there buckles? Yes, there's buckles." She said, "You got something from the BBG or whatever spell check?" I go, "BBG." She goes, "Better Business Bureau." I'm like, oh, "What's this going to be like? We never actually receive mail. Yeah. It's all I wonder if it's, a it's all you. email. Yeah, I wonder we if they're them, we keep them pretty busy." <clears throat> so this is what I got from the Better Business Bureau, and it's the same form that's online. Consumer's original complaint from North Dakota. Carpenter Terrence. Terrence Carpenter was kind enough to send this into the Better Business Bureau. Unprofessional business practices. On April 5th, 2015, I went onto the SOE website to purchase one combat cock, one vehicle visor cover, and one EDC low profile belt without Velcro lining. Order 49. 571 totaling $127. <clears throat> I understood and expected that on their site it says to allow up to 12 weeks for delivery. Around June 15th, I sent an inquiry email on the status of the order and after three days had not received a response, so I sent another email stating their unprofessionalism, after which I immediately received a rude and vulgar response. I have saved the email, but he didn't bother to include it. Consumers desired resolution. So they get to pick what they want to happen to you, what your punishment should be. And he says, for a business, I think this type of attitude is uncalled for and was warranted. I think he meant unwarranted, but he said warranted. I do agree that it was warranted, and I'll read my reply that he's upset about it in a minute. Their business license should be revoked so that no one else has to go through this, at least not from SOE. There's a funny thing in the state of Tennessee that we don't have business licenses. Like, I don't have a fucking business license. We're a, we're a limited liability corporation. We have articles of incorporation, and uh, that's, you know, federally registered. And um, Terrence, you can fucking pretty much eat a dick, which is what you're upset about. I mean, I already told you. We already had this conversation. You know that I feel you can eat a dick and that you eat dick, so. Uh, information complaint received by Better Business Bureau on 619, inform business of complaint, mail returned. So they mailed it to us, I'm guessing in California, I don't know, mm -hmm. um, on the 22nd, and then 7-8, uh, um, they informed business of complaint again, which would, I guess, be this. <coughs> so, Terrence ordered April 5th. It says 8 to 12 weeks. On... Uh, at about eight weeks, he sent the email, the original email. We um, replied back, and uh, he was very upset. He says he sent five or six emails. I did find three other emails from him that were completely blank. He did send us emails. Mm -hmm. They were blank. We didn't have fucking shit from this dude. Um, but here is what he is upset about. I sent he, His email that he sent us that I replied to, I sent a status inquiry a few days ago regarding 49571. The professional thing to do would be at least respond. If you cannot fulfill the order, then obviously provide me a refund. I do believe I have patiently waited a lot of time from the state, from the website stated. We did reply, um, we did send him a refund before ever replying. The, when you mention a refund, I can have your order sitting in here ready to go. You mention refund, we're fucking, you're dead in the water, we're done doing business. Um, so we didn't ship his shit out and we refunded him and then I sent him this email. Are you always this much of a little bitch? For real? You emailed me? So you think I just fucking ignored you a few days? Let's assume that's three. That's 2,500 plus emails I got in that time. I looked up your order that you placed April 5th. Find that email. I said, I said, I looked up your order that you, that you placed April 5th. Find that email. Find that email our website sent you when you ordered and reply back to it. 
that email says eight to 12 weeks. It says that on the website and also said that in the final page at checkout before final payment. That's why these guys don't reply to that email though because it says right in there eight to 12 weeks. The first fucking verbiage he sent was he knew it was going to be 12 weeks. <clears throat> I said, you can eat a fucking dick or you can reply back in a different tone. Either way, I could care less. You can fucking charge this off and I'll drag it out for 30 days or you can reply back in a different tone and I will reciprocate. Either way, walk the fuck outside and leave your inner simple bitch out there before you come back inside. That's what he's so upset about. So we had canceled and refunded his order before I ever replied to him. And uh, after the fact, he is so irate that he thinks there's some recourse. Like, the Better Business Bureau can't do shit to you. They can't do, they literally have no teeth. If you pay, if you become a member of the Better Business Bureau, if I pay them, this complaint goes away. And if you pay them, you get an A plus rating. We have a D rating or an F rating. I take pride in that. We always make jokes about this. <laughs> This video right here, I'm going to send this video, I'm going to reply online, and I put these videos online as our rebuttal. So when we get the thing online to, you know, how do you, what do you, what's your side of the story, you know, we'll work this out, maybe we can end this amicably, we make a video and make fun of the dude who's upset, and then for our reply, we post the link to the video. The funny thing is, our caseworker for the Better Business Bureau sends me an email and goes, I saw your video, I wish I could do that. And then we've also had her um, reply on, when I post it on Facebook, she'll reply, she's like, I'm the Better Business Bureau case That's partner. awesome. That's happened, that's happened twice. So, there's no teeth here. Um, you can't put us out of business, you can't do shit about it. You were refunded, we don't have any of your money. And uh, that, that's all there is to it, really. We just thought we'd make this video real fast and uh, so literally, we're making this video so that I can post a rebuttal to this. That's the only reason we make these videos. And it's first, it, it just drives a lot of traffic. We're going to put this on our Facebook page. And it's more fun than typing it all out. <laughs> we have a half a million on our Facebook page, and we've got about 10,000 that, that comment you know, somewhat regularly, and then we got about 1,000 that comment very, very frequently. And um, they're going to get on there, and they're going to also make fun of you, Terrence. Um, I'm, I seem to recall right about the time this happened, Terrence was so irate he was out of the block world or somewhere mm -hmm. on the Facebook page talking shit. So a lot of these dudes are going to know who this guy is. What's up, Shelton? Not much. What are you doing? Came here to pick Isaiah up. I locked his keys in his house yeah. this morning like an idiot. So He said he did that so that he could come home to your house. Uh oh. Well, we live right next to each other. I mean, my boyfriend picked me up. He man. said he lives inside. I mean, with you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, I think you're cute. Especially now, you I don't know what's going to be. Cut all the fur off. Did you, shave your, did you shave your back teeth? I was going to say, no. the fact that you're growing the beard back out, it kind of makes me sad because you look so different. Now, now I can see the old Shelton come back. Yep. <clears throat> I was really impressed with the, yeah, like when you do that in your face. Like did your you do face. alumni this weekend? Yep. Did you teach something or take the classes? No, I, I recorded shit. How's Nate? Uh... James said that they're going to do something to him tomorrow, and uh, hopefully by Wednesday he'll be back up on his feet. Good. Good. All right, turn that shit off. Let's put that up. <coughs>